What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are getting juicy. Ooh. Today we're talking about the five things that I hate about this car. All right, coming in at number one, the brakes. If you know, if you've driven this car, the brakes on this car are absolutely horrible. I don't know if, you know, since they took the fenders from uh, the Subaru Crosstrek, if they just decided to bring the brakes over too or what, but Subaru really dropped the ball on this car when it comes to the brakes. Um, two piston brakes in the front. I don't even know what it is in the back, to be honest with you, but they're awful. They're horrible. My, my 1996 Ford Ranger, has better stopping power than this car i don't know if it's so bad to me because i'm coming from a 2020 gti that had the the golf r that had the performance package so i had the golf r brakes which were four pistons in the front two pistons in the back they were absolutely amazing especially for that car and especially for how much you pay for for that car um and this it just falls short so bad and i don't know if a lot of other manufacturers are like this my gti wasn't like this the honda civic i had before that wasn't like this and i've put numerous sets of brake pads on other vehicles i've never had this issue but they smelled horrible the first three to five hundred miles i own this car i mean they smelled terrible i'd go two minutes down the road you know not getting over 20 mile an hour not having to brake hard at all i'd get out and it smelled hor absolutely hor it smelled like i was riding them for the last 20 minutes down the interstate it smelled terrible so yeah number one the brakes for sure all right coming in at number two the stock wheels on the base now my 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 problem isn't with the design my problem is with the size they are a 17 inch wheel which on this car which it's not bad that's a decently sized uh, sized wheel but on this car with the the huge fender wells that it has it, it's got monster truck status for sure i love the stock design i love how they i haven't liked the stock design wheel on any car that i've owned until this one i love them i feel no need to get you know wheels anytime soon because i like the way these look and i like how they look on the car but i hate that they're 17 hate it uh i'm used to like an 18 or a 19 and that really looks good really fills the, the fender well up this one <clears throat> all right coming in number three this isn't really like a hate more so just a pet peeve and, it, and it's really starting to become a trend in, in newer cars it's not a trend i like you may like it i hate it but it's the lack of ac controls in this car uh, you have a temperature control button you have your front and rear defrost buttons and that's it everything else is buried in the infotainment and it's not buried i don't i shouldn't say that but it is in the infotainment on the base it's on the bottom screen on the trims above it i don't know where it's at in the infotainment but on this base car on the base model it's in the bottom screen the buttons don't have any sort of like feedback or anything they don't vibrate they make a beep they make a noise but if you're driving down the interstate going doo -doo -doo -doo, and you're trying to cool it down you might swerve oh god you know it's not fun i don't like it i hate that that's a trend the uh the new gt the mark 8 gti and golf r um it's not in the system like in the infotainment system but it's like touch sensitive right so it's not even a it's not a physical button really it's it's like a little touch sensitive pad thing that registers when you touch it but yeah number three the ac controls absolutely hate them i've gotten used to them but i hate them all right so number four this is another kind of like just annoyance but i hate it for the sake of the video i hate it um it's nothing really wrong with this car this is more something i hate that subaru has done but the jdm the japanese domestic market wrx vb chassis has a really bad to the bones cool digital gauge cluster okay why don't i have one you say or why doesn't the gt trim have one because subaru decided that they were only going to keep that that option for 
the the JDM Morgan. What do you think is dumb? I hate it. Like this is a base car, but given the option, I definitely would have tried to opt for that. Like right, like I, if 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 I was me and I would have been able to order this car, I would have ordered it with that digital cluster. It's really cool. Um, other cars are doing it. The Civic Si has one. The uh, the the Integras have one. You know, there's a lot of other cool cars that are that are uh, kind of in this price range that are getting those like more luxurious options and features. And I think it's dumb that Subaru held out on the American. Oh God, camera fell. All right, we're good. Okay, cool. I think it's stupid that Subaru held out on us for for that so yeah number four the lack of the digital cluster that the jdm cars have all right so that's kind of funny my phone overheated halfway through the like previous recording and it like shut off so i had to let it cool down and i went back and watched the clip that i recorded it was fine but it was still the phone was still hot like it was still bugging out and i guess it that whole file got corrupted so number five Number five was the steering feel on this car. It's numb, it's dull, it's not super light, but it's not super heavy either, and there's no way you can adjust it. Uh, Subaru didn't give you any sort of drive modes or anything on this car. Um, so the weight of the wheel is like set. Like there's nothing you can do about it. And it's not horrible, like, but it's not like a GT3 or Golf R. And you know, I know that's not what this car is supposed to be, right? I know that. It's a commuter car that's sporty and has cool turbo noises and a cool boxer noise. I'm aware of that. Um, and I appreciate the effort that Subaru put into making this one better than the last generation as far as like steering feel and all that sort of stuff. Because from what I understand, it's a huge improvement over the V8 chassis. But still, I mean, at least give us a like drive mode so we can change the weight of the steering. You know, we're about to rip around some back roads and Oh, excuse me, I almost died. You're about to rip around some back roads. You reach over, you hit your button. Steering gets stiffer. You feel like you're in a race car. I mean, that's nice, right? Everybody loves that. I mean, for my parents had a 2012 Camry. Had 2012 Camry that had a button, a drive mode button. It was like a sport button or whatever, but still, you hit the sport button. It was one mode. It changed the, the steering weight. Steering got stiffer felt more sporty on a camera all right guys thanks for watching the video if you liked what you saw make sure you subscribe and hit the little notification bell so you can stop in every time we upload i'll see you in the next one peace